Grady on year 6664, two years before the Silent Nightmare incident. The planet Antikton, protectorate of the Gradian Empire, has suddenly fallen silent. Dr. Venom, Director General of the, Sh of the Space Science Agency, reports that the planet's mother computer has been infected by bacterians. Sensing a threat, the government deploys Gradian forces. Among them is the Big Viper, a hyperspace fighter piloted by Special Colonel James Burton, who defeated the Bacterians in the past. James Burton, pilot of the Vic Viper, Special Colonel in the Imperial Space Force. Dr. Venom, one of the surviving Reek, like James Burton, developer of the Vic Fighter Hyperspace Fighter. <laughs> Oi YouTubers, it is I, the Hell Gear. Welcome to a special throwback for Throwback Thursday. This is Gradius Rebirth. Now to those of you who don't know, the Gradius game was one of those old school games from back in the days. And I do mean back in the days. This game was glorious and I enjoyed every little bit of it. Yes, uh, thank you. We don't need to go through that again. So, here's how this play is going to work. This play is going to work a bit differently than how the other plays for my game through is going to go. So, let's just get into everything going on. Here's how this is going to work. The Gradian fleet has a selection of ships. To those of you who are who've never heard of Gradius, the Gradian fleet is based off of some variations of ships. Now, each of these ships is based off of a starfighter known as Gradius. In this version of the game, we are piloting the great another ship on Gradius called the Victory Viper, or Vic Viper for short. Since this is a Konami game, game like the most recent Super Bomberman R, Gradius is something that is going to be part of the lineup here. To those of you who don't know, the Vic Viper ship is also a Bomberman in Super Bomberman R, one that I've showcased in my Super Bomberman R playthrough. So check out the Super Bomberman R playthrough. I actually do the second planet with Gradius Bomber. Anyway, here's how this is going to go. I'm showing off all the ships because there are various ships in the Gradian fleet. The objective of this game is to go from planet to planet in the various galaxy system, defeating the Bacterians using the Gradius fighting ship. These ships that you see here There are five ships in this one. There are five different ships. So, I'm going to talk about each of these ships. When you play this game, you get the first three. Type A, B, and C. As you play through and beat the game, you get types D and E. And they are various fighters. The Victory Viper is also a Yu-Gi-Oh card. But the Vic Viper is still a wonderful card to play with. Anyway, here's how this playthrough is going to work. Unlike most playthroughs where I would go from level to level in this game, each time I would play it, this one's going to be a little bit different. What's going to happen is I'm going to play a campaign with each of these five Gradian Fleet ships.
In the process of that, I'm going to give myself three continues with each ship. And I'm going to see just how far I can go with each ship. After I've expunged the three continues for said ships, that'll be it for the particular ship's campaign. And you guys can let me know which of these five gradient ships you think I did better with. So, now that I'm done flipping back and forth, I'm going to start with type A, and then I'm going to go to type B, then C, then D, then E. So each campaign, three continues each. So it's as far as I can go, if not clear the main game. Anyway, here's our first setup. As you go through the game, you'll... Oh, Jesus, tell me I did not... Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Each ship in the Gradient Fleet has their strengths and weaknesses. Some can get through certain stages better than others. Others can get through anything. Anyway, when you go through the Starship, you will find these various power capsules. And power capsules allow you to access the, the extra weaponry of each of your ships. As you can see, each type has a setup of weaponry. The bar underneath the ship tells you which one you can access. And by choosing said, said um, input into your ship, you can upgrade or even well, I can't say upgrade. You can augment the offensive and defensive powers of your ship. Type A lacks impressive performance but can handle any tactical situation, whether on the ground or in the air. As you can see, it ha I'm going to go through each of them. We have speed for S, M for missiles, D for a double shot, L is for a laser. Then we have O, which in this game they call it multiple, it's actually called Gradius' options. And then you have a shield. As you can see, you can only use one of the double fire shot or the laser at a given time. You can switch from laser to double fire, but you cannot have both laser and double fire. You can increase your speed for as high as you want to, but the other weapons, missiles, double shot, laser, you can only get level twos of, and I believe you can only get four of your options, plus one shield at a time. So fully powered up, you'll have your speed of whatever choice, level two missiles, your shield, Four options, which fire out any of your weaponry. Level 2 double shot, or level 2 missiles. Type B, the wide attacking area, makes up for a lack of firepower but striking enemies in all directions. Perfect for inexperienced pilots. As you can see, The missiles go both ways, going up and down, and the double shot fires in front and behind you. The laser for this one is a rippling beam. Options are still the same, but instead of a front barrier, you have an actual force shield for the Type B. Type C is an attack-oriented build. Specialized for attack power, but due to its limited range, it takes an experienced pilot to master it. Now the bomb on this one is a little different, because as you can see in the diagram, it'll drop down and create an explosion. And that explosion is what does the damage. The double shot 
is one straight shot and one shot going upward, which can be rather hazardous if you aren't careful. The laser for this one is one of the best of the five ships in the fleet because it's a twin laser. You fire two laser beams. It's kind of symbiotic to the original Gradius. And again, you have the textbook shield. Now here's something I wanna talk about this shield that I didn't do in the first one. As it takes damage, it shrinks. In the original game, it could take only two hits. It would take one hit and the shield's coloring, which is the blue around the ship, it would turn the shield, it would turn red and then it would be gone. But in this game, these shields take damage and then shrink in size and then they are gone. Once you've completed a certain amount of the game, you get the experimental ship Type D. A next gen hyperspace fighter being developed to replace the Victory Viper. Weaponry still has some kinks in it. The missiles on this one are really interesting because they go down and they chase and then they blow up. But the double shot is reminiscent to the original Gradius where it's one forward and diagonal. The vertical laser is really good at piercing targets from up top. And as you continue to complete, you will get Type E. A fighter being developed to aid inexperienced pilots in battle. Its special laser can penetrate terrain. My only problem with this one is the double shot. Now as you can see, the missiles go two ways and they chase throughout the terrain, traveling across the ceiling and on the bottom. The double shot is a vertical shot which fires only above and below you, so any threats that come at you straight on aren't going to help you as much. The laser is a double-edged sword. As it pierces through terrain itself, you don't really want to use this on the first stage or stages that have breaking debris. But bosses that have like armor, it can pierce through the armor. And just like attack B, instead of the shield, you actually have a force field. So, which of these five ships do you think I'll do the best with? Let me know in the comment section below. But enough primary. Let's get into this game, shall we?